Hello, and welcome to the inaugural This Month in Datadog. My name is Jeremy, and I'm the Director of Technical Community and Open Source. This Month in Datadog is a new video series we're launching to keep you updated with the latest Datadog announcements, product updates, event information, community projects, and more. Without further ado, on to the first episode. Here are just a few recent highlights of new features and product announcements. You can now collect Amazon CloudWatch metrics faster with Datadog using CloudWatch metric streams. Datadog is proud to partner with AWS for the launch of CloudWatch metric streams, a new feature that allows AWS users to forward metrics from key AWS services to different endpoints, including Datadog, via Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose. Datadog security monitoring is now HIPAA compliant. As you may have known, Datadog's log management was already HIPAA compliant. HIPAA-enabled customers can now also use Datadog security monitoring. As always, we're committed to the security and privacy of all of our customer data. You can now trace AWS event-driven serverless applications. Event-driven serverless applications are often connected via non-HTTP protocols using AWS managed services like SNS, SQS, or EventBridge. Capturing these distributed transactions in a single trace is especially important in serverless applications where failures can happen in hundreds if not thousands of distributed components. Now, in Node and Python, you can automatically trace in real time across sequences of Lambda functions triggered by AWS SQS and also direct Lambda invocations from the AWS SDK. NPM support for Windows hosts is now generally available. Whether you're a Linux shop, a Windows shop, or a mix of both, Network Performance Monitoring now provides full coverage of communications between your hosts and applications all in one place. And finally, our Slack app has been updated. You can now manage and create incident tasks directly from Slack. This means faster incident response and no context switches. For a complete roundup of new features and product announcements, visit app.datadoghq.com slash release underscore notes. This month in the spotlight, Datadog receives a leader distinction in Gartner's 2021 Magic Quadrant for API. Gartner recently published the 2021 Magic Quadrant for Application Performance Monitoring, which evaluates APM vendors according to their ability to execute and the completeness of their vision. This year, Datadog placed higher and further in both categories. We received the visionary distinction the first time we were included on the quadrant, and now we've moved into the leader quadrant. We're proud of Datadog APM's robust feature set. End-to-end -end distributed tracing with no sampling, a simple and intuitive setup process, seamless correlation of traces with full stack telemetry data and more. We are so happy that APM has enabled so many customers to optimize their applications for the best possible user experience. All analyst reports depend on customer feedback, and we're grateful to you for providing the responses that led to our distinction. Thank you so much for participating. We look forward to continuing to further improve our products for you. In each This Month in Datadog, we'll go around the water bowl to highlight an interesting project or post from our growing community. This month, we have a post from Shashank about how to monitor APIs using Postman and Datadog. Shashank was kind enough to hop on a quick call with us to discuss the post. Let's see what he had to say. Hi, I'm Daniel of the community team here at Datadog, and I'm here with Shashank of Postman. Thank you so much for taking the time out to speak with me today. Uh, we got in touch because of your excellent blog post on integrating Datadog and Postman, and I just wanted to take a few minutes out to, to chat with you a little bit about that. Why did you choose to integrate Postman and Datadog? So that brings a lot of value for, for the Postman community, right? Uh, what, what, what is happening now is that uh, given that the users were actually already using Datadog for a lot of their other stuff, what helps them do now with this particular integration is that, you know, relate the API performance, the API latency and the API health, uh, you know, with the other parameters within their system. So supposedly your latency is going down. Now you can very well relate, you know, that probably because your CPU is shooting, you, you can have correlation between your API performance and your system parameters and hence have useful insights. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time out to speak with us today. That's Shashank of Postman. Thanks, Shashank and Daniel. It was great to hear more about how to monitor APIs using Postman and Datadog. We're looking forward to featuring more community projects in Around the Water Bowl. 
You can now show the world you're a Datadog expert. When you complete a set of courses related to a specific topic in the Datadog Learning Center, you'll be awarded a Datadog Learn badge to show competency in that area of the platform. The badges are suitable for sharing on LinkedIn or Twitter, and also for verifying that competency within your organization. Log management and UX monitoring badges are available now. Stay tuned for badges relating to APM, Kubernetes, security, and much more. Join us for the following events. On June 3rd at Paris Container Day, Daniel Mahar will dive into the data that we've gathered about the trends in container use and also provide insight into how you should be monitoring your container environments. On June 9th at AWS Summit EMEA, Ara Polito will discuss Fargate, Fargate key metrics, how to gather them, and the ways that you should be interpreting and visualizing that data. Lastly, join us for Datadog and Chaos Engineering on May 31st. As you scale your applications, remaining resilient to network failures, resource constraints, spikes in traffic can become exponentially more complex. Chaos engineering is a discipline that encourages experimentation in production and injecting controlled failure to better understand your system and also to improve its reliability. In this episode, Ara will chat with Tay and Joris, both SREs on Datadog's chaos engineering team, to discuss chaos engineering and how it's done at Datadog. Thanks again for joining us for the inaugural episode of This Month in Datadog. We'd like to hear from you. Have a suggestion for a future water bowl or just want to discuss something that we've mentioned in this episode? If so, comment on YouTube or email us at community at datadoghq.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Datadog YouTube channel so you'll be notified of future episodes of This Month in Datadog. We'll see you next month.